What's going on YouTube boys and girls? Uh, still got the sniffles over here, but I wanted to bring you guys a quick little update. Um, some important Mustang news going on this past week uh, with the Shelby GT350 announcement coming out, you know, about a month or so ago. Um, we've got a leak as of last week of the ordering guides where there's seven pages worth of the pre-order guides that are being sent to the dealerships and um, these are all a little bit ahead of schedule from what Ford had planned obviously we've got some to be determined numbers in there no you know hard numbers on what the horsepower or fuel economy is going to be like anybody cares what the fuel economy is going to be on this guy but anyway um, starting off here which is page one not a whole lot to take a look at here but does designate out the equipment group 900A and 920A that's going to be your standard GT350 and your GT350R respectively. One interesting thing to note here though it states up right up at the top that the GT350 is going to be introduced as a 2015 model. Now there's been confirmed reports from Ford Direct that the GT350 is going to be designated as a 2016 model. So either these sheets are really, really old and are older than what we're led to believe, or Ford is going to truly try to push this guy out before the end of the year. Time will tell on that one. Going on over to the next page here is your standard equipment loadout. Not really a whole lot to look at here. A couple things to take note of though, the wheels, 19 inch wheels that are staggered, 10 and a half inch up front, 11 inch out back. And then in your interior, you've got the unique instrument cluster as well as aluminum instrument paneling and just some unique trim for the Shelby in general. Everything else is basically your, your high-end Mustang. Page three, this is where we start to get a little interesting. So right up at the top, you get the R package equipment group, which R in this case, as you can tell, is mainly removal. So you get all the fancy track package features, you get the Magna Ride, the heavy duty springs up front, your engine and oil coolers um, are upgraded. You also are removing your rear seat, your air conditioning, any floor mat, the tire mobility kit, and your entire audio system including sync. Now with the GT350 it's a little bit of a different story. Now, if we come down to the middle of the page, this is mainly where we get into the optional features of your normal GT350. In your technology package, you get the Magna Ride, you get the heavy duty front springs for the GT350, but you also get those nice creature comforts like the leather trim seats, six way power for your driver and passenger seat, an upgraded audio system with seven speakers, you get the dual zone climate control, all the nice features that we like to see in our high-end Mustangs. Now, an interesting thing to note though, is it's not available with the track pack. So you got really two roads to go down here for a GT350 base model. You either build it out as a track car that has some nice features to it, and you get your Magna Ride in the track pack, you get your oil coolers in the track pack, or you go with the technology package altogether and you make the car a little heavier and enjoy the ride while you're doing it. Personally, if I were ordering the car, I'd just go for a straight up track pack. And if I was really ordering this vehicle, I would opt for the R package standard with all the deletes. But this is where we get into those deletes at the bottom of this page. The electronics package is actually optional for your R spec. So you can add in the high end sound system, you can add in your climate control, all those nice things that we like in our cars that you're going to miss out on if you want to drive this thing around a bit. Also optional for both packages, painted black roof, you can get over the top racing stripes, and the triple yellow tri-coat is an optional color for both vehicles. Page 4 is just talking about the rear end and your wheel packages. Don't have any images coming up yet for these, but it's interesting to note as well that your standard GT350 has a staggered tire and wheel package, 10 and a half inch wheels up front, 11 inch out back, and your GT350R 
gains an inch almost with those same wheels only those wheels are now carbon fiber so you get an 11 inch up front and 11 half inch out back page 5 is going to give you your color layout looks like we've got competition orange avalanche gray shadow black the triple yellow tricoat deep impact blue magnetic race red and oxford white as your color choices for the gt350 models Obviously in the GT350R, the 920A package, they're not giving you the leather option. It's just the Recaro cloth with suede insert. That is obviously for weight savings. So, and then you see the note there that if you go down, you can see the stripe packages that are available for all the colors as well. Page 6 gives us not very much, just emissions pages. Nobody cares about that. Page 7 is the one that we wish that they would have been able to fill out ahead of time. Um, we don't have power numbers yet for that Voodoo motor. Really wish that we could have seen that here, but also we don't have fuel economy yet either for this engine. Not that, like I said, anybody really cares. But there you go. So hope that you guys found some of this info interesting and uh, informative. I definitely enjoyed reading through these pages here. I'm excited to see this car hit the streets. I'm really excited to see this car hit some known tracks around in the area. The GT350 to me, that's it's going to be a special Mustang. I know in some of my other previous Mustang videos, I kind of got some hate back just for mainly the EcoBoost engine choice. I'm still not, you know, overly on board with that. I understand why it's there, but you know, this guy's not going to be buying anything like that. I would never even dream of owning a four-cylinder turbo Mustang. I'd go straight for the V8. But this this GT350 and that flat plane crank V8, that, that's piqued my interest. I'm, I can't wait to see how this, this engine performs. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video update. If you did, please leave a like. If you really did, please leave a comment while considering subscribing for more content like this. But until next time, it's just another day at the office for me.